Welcome back, everybody, to Red Dead Redemption here on One Green Gaming. We are on the pause screen because I, I kind of ended the last episode in the middle of a mission, kind of. Not really in the middle, near the end. Uh, where we are driving with the agents. Um, we just got ambushed by re re rebels. I don't... I can't remember. Um, and somebody's informant got tied up, and it was this big ambush thing or whatever, and we're about to get plot. So I didn't want to lose that plot, so that's why we're, we're in the middle of this. So, plot. Here what we go. We got shot at. That's Nastas. He's our friend. Don't you give him sass. Wow. Uh, uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. Nastas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat, and they jumped us. <laughs> wow. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. We did it, though, didn't we? Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some such. He held his own, to be fair. Arzen, you're being a little hard on him. No, you're not, because he's going he's gonna to turn on us. Never mind. I think so, anyways. That's not a spoiler. That's a that's a guess. So, I think we're good. Yeah? Okay. We are going to... Uh, apparently, I can't skip the destination anymore. So uh, what's going on here? Sorry, it usually gives me the option to skip to destination. Ah, it's because we were. Come on, not now. It's because we were about to get ambushed, huh? No, no. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. Here he comes. Watch them. We'll hold them off. Hold them. We'll fix that damn engine. We'll do. I have a nice little gun that I like now, which was given to me. <laughs> Excuse me. By Agent Ross. Uh, I should hide. Uh, but, but. Oh my God. I kind of need my Gatling gun, huh? You and you. Boom. boom. Gotcha. In the hang of it. It's episode 41. You had the hang of it. They call you Gatling John for a reason. I'm so screwed right now. Okay, that guy. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Ooh, okay, we are, we're getting a little rocked here. Oh, that was a horse, I'm sorry. Oh, someone's up here. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got him. All right, we should be good. Yeah? How we doing? I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. I think did NASA just wake up? Was he knocked out? Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. I actually don't know. I assume so. He was in a pretty rough shape when we found him. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. Yes, we are. I need to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. Make me blush with all these kind mm, words. Not that old, am I? So much for this automobile yours. If this is the future, God help us all. You know what, Marston? I wish we could all be on horseback today, but unfortunately. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was these guys. Still us, I can walk faster than this piece of crap. I'm starting to like these guys, or at least the one guy, but I still do not trust these guys at all. Did you, did you just throw up? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly mm. simple agreement, Mr. Marston. I want John to see his family. As devoid of intellect as yourself. If you like me to explain it to you again, it's a nice house. More than willing. No, you said enough. We'll find Vanderland soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. Sure. So how does it feel? Taking a man's wife and child from him. Does it make you feel good? Yeah, you how does jerks. It feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood. You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. I Marston. did it to survive in the how old you west. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? Plus, if I hadn't murdered no like thirty of those guys, you guys would be dead. Luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed. 
Soon you will be able to start a new but where? Because if it's a grave, or if that's a metaphor for heaven, you can go to hell. Just can't communicate with them. I'ma be mad. Thank God for that. Yeah. This is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. Mm -hmm. tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? G good take. Uh -huh. Damn, New character. Oh, my God. Got shot in the leg. What a mustache. Good. Send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderlind. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. So, I guess my mistrust was misplaced a tiny bit. Uh, I still don't feel nice about these guys. Ooh, I don't like this guy. Never mind. Screw him. Guys, treat me like a moron. Not having that. Hi there. My, oh, my honor's up there. Okay, so I got a G mission. Was this his house? Yeah, can I go in here? No, alright. This place is beautiful. I haven't really taken in the scenery, I gotta say, in this game, because I've been focused on the story. Honestly, I'll probably play this again, like, off camera. Um, someday. It won't be anytime soon, but. Oh, okay, we got one. Now, should we do MC? Hmm. We got Harold. Harold McDougal movie house. Let's go see a movie. Night Watch. Now, is there a. Uh... No, I was hoping there was like a house here that I could buy. Where's the closest one? Closest one is there. Good lord. Eh. That'll probably be fine. Um, we can do Agent Ross or we can do Harold McDougal. Let's switch it up because I don't like. <laughs> I don't like the agents. So let's. Um... Yeah, let's switch this up. At home with Dutch. Oh. <laughs> Are we going straight to Dutch? <coughs> Excuse me. Because dang. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How Good day. Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. With these problems aside, I suppose I'm there. <laughs> I'm not having a good go. Yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? What? Not as far as I know, I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you make an interesting case for my theory of What's that? population characteristics. Really? Well, yes, a, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, this guy is a... This also, guy is a is just a bundle of joy. That I've been in energy. And some blood samples oh, dear. my microscope. And, and you know what? You have a lot of skulls no. that I don't... Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age. And you know Uh-huh. Again. No. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> Did this guy start off a little racist and then he's realizing, oh, scientifically, no. has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? Quite a lot for two. Not right this minute, no. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> Oh, oh, this explains uh, uh, come on, uh, a ton of come in sir would you like to take off your slippers <laughs> or, or, or skin this guy rabbit? speaks perfect english doesn't he i know we cannot see the stars uh-huh but still my heart is pure and we meet as equals yeah here it comes into simply metaphors no Sir, I grew up on a reservation yep. and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. 
I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding. Sweet. Both of you. Let's do this. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. We oh. are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochine. Let's go. Yeah. I all know right. a way there that is not guarded. Marvelous. It's <laughs> simply marvelous. So we saw last yeah, I was gonna say this episode, it's not this episode. Uh last episode we saw Yay, it brought Eastwood, right? Hell yeah. Alright, we got Eastwood. Um Let's hurry. Stay close. What was I gonna say? Oh, we saw the return of Wes Dickens. Um so I'm actually intrigued to see who else pops up again um, from the first kind of quarter of this game. Gabani, shaky, Irish. What is it with you people out here? No, Vandalin fascinates me. A white okay. man living among nations. A civilized man. <laughs> this guy is a treat. He's not as good as Shaky. Shaky's my favorite. I think character so far. I don't know. I haven't found a name I like yet. I w I think I was in love with Bonnie at one point, like as John Marsden. But I I don't know. I'm, I kind of want my wife back, I think. I don't want to ruin that with Bonnie. Is he talking about cocaine? Right. Buffalo? Oh, oh! What? <laughs> what happened to that one guy? Buffalo! <laughs> Oh, I saw it. He flew out of my field of vision. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. I haven't had a glitch. I don't know if I want to call that a glitch, but we haven't had something like that for a while. That was nice. Returning to our roots here. Jesus, that was funny. I don't know what happened. Like, they were getting killed. I assume they were being shot. I might have missed it, but... Good Lord. Oh, you are wrong there, pal. Guy sounds like he would turn into the Joker. Like the cocaine gets to his head and all that. What's that music? Are you setting me up? No, I trust Nastas right now. I don't want him to break that friendship that we ha haven't whatsoever established. This guy's not too hot on the white man. Well, to be fair. To be fair. It is beautiful out. It is so... Is this snow? This is where the snow is. Okay, in the beginning of the... In the very first menu of the game, there's snow. And I haven't seen snow yet. We were in Mexico, and I didn't know where it would come. We found it. We've got snow. Okay. Cool. Now we know. Where are we? Hold on. I'm actually very curious. Oh. I guess I hadn't really... Uh, hold on. Did, did, does this map... Oh, no, it can't. Maybe it does. I don't know. Does this map get bigger as we go through the game? Because I, I don't remember seeing this, but I almost... I can almost guarantee you I did. I just... I'm attentive. I'm just... I miss small details and stuff. Let's Playing also kind of makes your attention go to specific things. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm not coming up with excu excuses. I'm just curious. Another thing. Add to my Google list. Things to Google. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a head for highs. <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm okay, this, this guy's just a druggie. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Why did you even Thank come? You Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. What was the point of him coming? Come on. I see a spot where we can climb up. That was a waste of time. What the hell? <laughs> He's a lunatic. Looney bin. Alright, this is in... Psych? No. 
Badoom. Ow. Alright, come on, buddy. You got this. There you go. Good thing I brought my jacket. So is this like a, just a big old fortress? Obviously it's a reservation, but I'm curious how big this place is. Like, could I have... Oh, God. Dude. You got... You got some jello wood going on there. Okay, everybody's gonna hear that. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Should we perhaps not be yelling? Just a thought here. Alright. Let's uncharted this. Let's Nathan Drake this. You ready? Up we go. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Not so much with the Nathan Drake. I need to slow my roll. I need to stop jumping. Tell you, once Marsden gets jumping, it's kind of downhill from there. Uh, I I assume I'm getting on this, aren't I? Yeah. Then I, okay. It's pretty straightforward. This is awfully convenient. Okay, get down. Get down. There you go. Uh, okay. Now we go this way. When do I bring out my gun? Because all these missions usually end with a big shootout. Maybe I should be running. Where did he go? He must went over here. Is it? Like, this is awfully quiet. Is that a raccoon? Is that a raccoon? That's a raccoon. That's a raccoon. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh my god. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was lovely. Um, I was a little amazed at the raccoon. You oh, man. I, hold on. I see a treasure chest. Give me a second. I know you need me over there, but there's a container right here. Might have bullets. Might have a new wardrobe. Might have $18. You know, you never know these things. Okay. Did you, did you see that raccoon? That, that was awesome. Oh, okay. I thought the game was fading out there. Okay, so we're about to enter this. I'm going to pause here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we Next next episode, we're going to continue on with this mission, see how this works out. I, I can almost guarantee you it's going to end up in a shootout because all these things usually end up in a shootout. So um, next episode will be in a shootout. I promise. That's a promise I can probably keep. <laughs> all right. Thanks again uh, for watching, guys. And we, uh, yeah, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. I'm going to try that again. Because my brain went several different directions. Thanks again for watching, guys. And we will see you in the next episode of Red Dead Redemption. See you later, everybody. See, I nailed it that time.